Hello everyone. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to convert a Python file into an exe file in Windows. So let's start. So uh, so this is my Python file. It's 5 KB as you can see and I'll show you the code so this is my Python file and there is certain some kind of code in it whatever you write in it it should be a Python file uh, all right now I want an uh, uh, executable for, file for it. So what I'm going to do is I'll open a bash. Uh, you can open it in VS Code or just go to your PowerShell or command line. And now that you are in your PowerShell, Uh, these are my files in my directory right now So I want uh, my task.py to be converted into exe file So you need a package Python package. It's called pi installer. So what we will do is pip install pi installer uh, It will start installing it in your system since I already have installed it So I don't need it anymore to install it again so this is the uh, now that you have pi installer all you need to do is convert it into an exe file so what i'm going to do is pi installer one file and name a file uh, this is my file name and i'll enter and it will start converting into exe file so make sure your Python is like uh, 3.10 or less than it because sometimes it might not work on the latest Python version. And apart from that, you need to understand how it actually works is uh, it will take all the dependencies of your Python file and it will put uh, it in exe file as well. So uh, the size of your file is going to increase drastically. And on top of that, uh, you need to make sure that when you are converting it into exe file in your local machine, you have all the dependencies installed, all the files that you are importing. Because once it uh, converts it into exe file, uh, you can't uh, you can't put other files in it, and and it only uses those dependencies that are there in the exe file. It can't use uh, the modules that you imported from the machine where you are running the exe file so make sure that all the dependencies are already there so your exe file doesn't crash uh, and because it will also save the modules that you import uh, the size is going to increase really big uh, this is only 5 kbs uh, but uh, once you get your file it is going to be about 20 MB or something oh we are done uh, it has successfully created the file we can see it uh, let's refresh it so these are the folders that got created so I don't need build and pycache because I just wanted one file in and that is in dist folder okay so this is my task.exe file it's 21 MBs can copy it or do whatever or execute directly so now I got my exe file you can download this as well and delete this as well so if you want to execute just click on it and it will start executing yeah so that's how you convert python file into an exe file Hope you like it. Thank you very much.